glass transition temperature is the temperature at which a polymer turns from a hard glassy state to a soft or a rubbery state or vice versa my name is jagdish atole and in this video we will discuss about the very important temperature property of a polymer that is glass transition temperature do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any new learning video from the design gigs We all know the expansion and contraction phenomena of a material which is dependent on the temperature. As the temperature increases, the material goes into the expansion phase and as the temperature decreases, the material goes into the contraction phase. Means the material, especially the amorphous plastic, it becomes flexible or soft when heated and it becomes hard or rigid when cooled. Suppose a rubber ball which is soft or rubbery in a normal temperature is cooled or kept in a deep freezer at around minus 70 degrees celsius then what will happen with the rubber ball will it be a soft or rubbery as like before no it will become hard or brittle and it will break into pieces like the glass material consider one more example of acrylic scale or acrylic ruler at normal temperature or at a room temperature if we try to bend the acrylic ruler will it bend no it will have cracks and it will break but if we heat the acrylic ruler at 100 degree celsius to 115 degree celsius it will become soft and flexible and we will be able to bend it like this so why the rubber ball becomes hard or brittle at minus 70 degree celsius or why the acrylic scale or ruler becomes soft and flexible above 100 degree celsius this is because of the glass transition temperature which is defined as the temperature at which a polymer changes its phase from hard state to a soft state or a rubbery state on heating and polymer changes its phase from soft or a rubbery state to a hard state on cooling means on heating the polymer becomes soft or rubbery and on cooling it becomes hard so this hard state is called as a glassy state and if we keep on heating the polymer goes into rubbery flow then viscous flow and then completely liquid flow thematically it can be represented like this the glass transition temperature is denoted as tg so below tg the polymer is hard or brittle and above tg the polymer is soft or rubbery and above the flow temperature that is above tf the polymer melts and flows means the polymer will be in a viscous fluid state now this glass transition temperature does it happens in all the materials or does it happens in every substance the answer is no it happens only in the polymeric materials and especially in the amorphous polymer here is the crystalline structure the arrangement of a particles in a crystalline polymer is a very orderly fashion and these particles are arranged in a repeating pattern of three dimensional network and the spaces between the atoms are very less due to the high intermolecular forces and these intermolecular forces is also uniform throughout the structure and crystalline polymers requires the extreme temperature to break that intermolecular forces on the other hand we have the amorphous structure and in this the arrangement of a particles or a molecules are disorder and irregular and their intermolecular forces are not the same and the distance or the space between the atom is not uniform so the transition temperature or the transition happens in a amorphous material because of the chain mobility as they are having the random molecular structure now in melt state both the amorphous and the crystalline material shows the same phase but in a liquid state the crystalline polymers having highly ordered structure and the amorphous polymer shows the linear structure now the crystalline polymers have a well defined melting point it is characterized by a glass transition temperature and the glass transition temperature is different for each polymers so here are the values of the glass transition temperature of some materials and this glass transition temperature is not the exact temperature basically it is the temperature range at which the transition or the phase change happens the glass transition temperature is a very important parameter for selecting the right materials or right polymers according to the function and application requirement as it is an important characteristics of the polymers mechanical behavior denoting a region of a significant physical property such as your hardness and the elasticity it can be considered as the temperature at which the stiffness and modulus starts decreasing even we can consider the glass transition temperature as the extreme temperature up to which the plastic can be used safely for example 
the abs is having 105 degrees celsius glass transition temperature means above 105 degrees celsius it will become soft or elastic so suppose if we are selecting the ABS material for the applications where the temperature goes above 105 degrees Celsius, then the ABS will get deformed and it will not function properly. Some of the polymers are used below their glass transition temperature and some polymers are used above their glass transition temperature. Or we can say the state of applications of a polymer is different for different polymers. Here from this graph of the amorphous plastic, the state of application is below Tg. So if we go above Tg, then the amorphous plastic will become soft and flexible. The TF indicates the flow temperature and the TD is the decomposition temperature mentioned here. So as we increase the temperature, the tensile strength of the material decreases and elongation percentage. Initially it increases as the temperature increases and then it decreases if we keep increasing the temperature. So this is for the amorphous plastic. For semi-crystalline plastic, the state of application is above Tg. That is the semi-crystalline plastics needs to be used in a tough elastic state and below Tg it will become brittle. For elastomers the state of application is above Tg that means in the soft elastic state. That's why you, you might have noticed the elastomers in the application seems soft elastic and below Tg the elastomer or the rubber are hard or brittle and for thermosets the state of application is wide and it is not showing the glass transition temperature or Tg is not applicable for the thermosets. So here in the chart we have the Tg temperature, flow temperature, melt temperature and the decomposition temperature Td of some materials. So PEC or the polycarbonate is having 145 degrees Celsius glass transition temperature, acrylic is having 104 degrees Celsius, the polystyrene is having 97 degrees Celsius and PVC polyvinyl chloride is having 80 degrees Celsius which shows that these amorphous materials are recommended to use below their glass transition temperature and semi-crystalline materials like HDP which is having the Tg as minus 95 degrees Celsius basically it is from minus 95 degrees Celsius to minus 110 degrees Celsius the polyamide is having 40 degrees Celsius the polypropylene is having minus 18 degrees Celsius and polytetrafluoroethylene is having minus 20 degrees Celsius which represents that these semi-crystalline materials are recommended to use above their glass transition temperature. But how can we measure the glass transition temperature? There are different methods which can be used or which are used to measure the glass transition temperature like the differential scanning calorimetry that is DSC, differential thermal analysis DTA or thermomechanical analysis that is TMA. The Dynamic mechanical analyzers that is DMA is also used to measure the glass transition temperature or we can use the thermal expansion measurement or the micro heat transfer measurement. So the differential scanning calorimetry that is the DSC and the differential thermal analysis that is DTA these two methods are the most standard thermal methods widely used to determine the Tg. Now in the differential scanning calorimetry, the heat flows into or out of a sample is measured as a function of temperature or time while the sample is exposed to a controlled temperature program and it is a very powerful technique to evaluate the material properties such as the glass transition temperature, melting, crystallization, specific heat capacity, the cure process, purity, oxidation behavior and the thermal stability. So in the DSC, a small amount of a sample around 1 to 15 milligram is contained within a closed crucible and placed into a temperature controlled DSC cell and the second crucible without the sample is used as a reference. Now the difference in the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of a sample and a reference are measured as a function of temperature. Why should we care about the glass transition temperature? So identifying the glass transition temperature of a polymer is often used for the quality control and research and development. So the glass transition temperature of a different polymers makes a polymer better suited for some applications than the other. For instance, a rubber tire of a automobile is soft and ductile because at normal operating temperature, it is well above their glass transition temperature. Now, if its glass transition temperature were greater than its operating temperature, then it would not have the flexibility required to grip the pavement. So it is helpful for selecting or screening the potential plastics according to the function and applications requirement. 
and we can consider the materials working temperature range also with the help of this glass transition temperature. For a number of reasons, the understanding of TG temperature can be of great value when analyzing the polymers like for service temperature considerations. The applications requiring the high operating and the service temperature resistance will often require the high glass transition temperature polymers to be successful. The cohesive strength and the surface protection can be lost uh, as the polymers go high above their glass transition temperature. And conversely, the polymers can become more brittle and lose the adhesion or the crack where they are used for a far below their glass transition temperature. The second is for flexibility considerations. If your applications requires an adhesive or the coating that remains the flexible and rubbery, so it is possible that you will need a polymers with a glass transition temperature below your service temperature so that the polymers remains in its rubbery state. The next is for thermal and mechanical shock considerations as similar to the flexibility considerations the effective vibration and the thermal shock resistance can often be found with the polymers tg below the service temperature and for adhesive properties also we need to consider the glass transition temperature because many polymers functions as a adhesives so the surface wetting and the adhesive bonding occurs most effectively at or near the glass transition temperature of a given polymer what are the factors that are affecting the glass transition temperature? The state of polymers, whether it is a solid, rubbery, or the molten, it depends on the presence and absence of a segmental and molecular moment. And these moments depend on the size and geometry and can be impacted by the factors like molecular weight or the molecular structure, chemical cross linkings, the addition of plasticizers, the presence, the pressure, and free volume, water or moisture content and enthalpy and entropy also. So the molecular weight in, in the straight chain polymers, increase in molecular weight leads to decrease in the chain in concentration that resulting in a decrease of free volume at the end group, which leads to increase in Tg. That means the glass transition temperature is directly proportional to the molecular weight of a polymer. For molecular structure, increase in molecular structure increases the glass transition temperature due to decrease in the mobility. That means the Tg is directly proportional to the molecular structure. For chemical cross-linking, the increase in a cross-linking decreases the mobility that leads to decrease in the free volume and increases the Tg because of the stiffness. So Tg is directly proportional to the degree of cross-link. And for addition of plasticizers, it increases the free volume in the polymer structure resulting in the decrease in the glass transition temperature of the polymer that is eg is inversely proportional to the plasticizers addition and for increasing the pressure of surrounding leads to decrease in the free volume and ultimately the high tg that means increasing the pressure increases the tg that is the tg is directly proportional to the pressure and for moisture or the water content the increase in the moisture content leads to the formation of hydrogen bonds with the polymeric chains increasing in the distance between the polymeric chains and hence it increases the free volume and decreases the glass transition temperature. That means the Tg is inversely proportional to the moisture content. So this is all about the glass transition temperature. Stay tuned with the design gigs for such learning videos. Thank you.